Hello everyone, welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. In this video I will show you a quick way how to remove the blue sky from your landscape images with complex objects in the foreground. For this demonstration I will use images from Unsplash, you can find the link in the description of the video if you want to follow along and let's go. So here we are in Photoshop with this huge tree in front of a blue sky. Especially if you're new to Photoshop, probably the first thing you would try is to simply use the quick selection tool and try to select the sky like this. Now on the outside this might look good, but if I apply the layer mask, you can see it's getting increasingly harder to select all the blue sky inside of this tree. So that's way too time consuming and too hard. Let me show you an easier way. First off, we want to head into the channels menu. In here, the idea is to separate the blue background from the rest of the image. That means I am going to use the blue channel right here and with the blue channel selected, I'm dragging it down on the plus icon down there to create a copy. You can already see we do have a pure white background while the tree and the landscape in the foreground is pretty dark. And that's a very good starting point for our selection. The goal right here is to make the whole landscape in the foreground black, while the sky which we want to cut out should stay white. In this case, we can simply use our copy layer and now I'm hitting Ctrl L to bring up the levels menu. First, let's make the foreground black. Therefore, I'm going to pick the black point right here on the left side and just drag it to the right. You can see how the sky is not changing a bit just the landscape in the foreground, which is exactly what we want. We can further refine the selection by picking the point for the highlights and dragging it to the left. Just to make sure we get all those blue tones we want to remove. And let's hit OK. The top part looks pretty good right now. All those blue parts which I wasn't able to select previously are now white. So that's really, really good. But down here in the landscape you can see there are also tiny white spots which we need to fix. Therefore I'm just using the brush tool, set the foreground color to black and make sure to paint over all those spots. Just like that. We can even refine the selection using the brush tool by setting the brush mode to overlay. And then again with the black brush I am going to paint over our subject. And since we have set the blending mode to overlay, only the dark areas will be affected, not the sky. So with this set up, I'm going to hold down the control key and click on the thumbnail of our blue copy layer right here. And then I'm heading over to the layers menu again. And on our layer, I'm holding down the alt key and then click the layer mask icon. And here we have nicely separated the tree from the sky in the background. If you're looking closer, you can still see some blue fringing around the leaves and the branches of the tree a little bit, but that's mostly due to the low resolution image I used from Unsplash. Also, you could probably do the masking a little more precise, but again, this would take more time and I just wanted to show you a very quick and easy way to do the masking. Also, let me just place a new sky in the background so those blue borders are almost becoming invisible again. Again, I'm using another image from Unsplash and I just drag it onto our original image, place it in the back and adjust the positioning and also adjust the light situation of the sky. It needs to be a little brighter. And here in the final image, you can see this mask works really, really good. So that is it for this Photoshop masking tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments and thank you very much for watching this video.